Hey guys, welcome back to Fit Life Champions. 30 workouts in 30 days. My name is Dave Glazer. We are working on um, some body weight strength endurance exercises today. Most exercises will have 12 reps, whether that's each side or total. So uh, we need to perform a warm up first to increase muscular temperature and to get the cardiovascular system working. So we're gonna go side to side with a skater. We're gonna take these nice and slow for her to begin with. Leaping side to side. Nice ankle, knee, and hip stability. One more each side. Good. Uh, we'll finish with drop step lunges. You can knee drive here. <clears throat> finish six, each leg. Good, awesome. And a wide stance sumo stance S squat. 10 reps here. Feet point out, no, uh, knees point out. Eight, nine, 10. Awesome, good. Now we gotta go through a dynamic warm up to prevent injury. Baby dinos for me, please. Walking on back, grab the quad, reach up and out. Good. Let's perform a few side lunges each side. <clears throat> circles forward. Let's finish off that shoulder joint. We're going to go really fast paced today in instruction, but I want you to definitely make a purposeful rest in between each exercise. So you can pause the video and then watch it for each exercise and then perform the exercise, pause it again and come back to follow through. We're not doing like high intensity circuit training or anything like that. We're gonna go with a skater, double hop. Two, 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 three. Every time that we leap side to side, I wanna take a double hop. We're developing ankle stability, knee stability, and mobility in all three joints, ankle, knee, and hip. Not about distance, it's about control. 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12. It's totally okay if that foot doesn't hop in the same exact spot. Your modification down is just a lateral step side to side. Just don't place that second foot down for balance. All right, you have 12 reps each side on that exercise. Now, 12 inchworms. Walk it on out, walk it on back. Good, you have 12 of these. This creates a lot of shoulder stability, core stability. You can add some intensity in here. We walk it out, knee, knee, and walk it back. You can walk it out, hop forward, hop back, walk it on back, or just keep it nice and smooth, focusing on sh shoulder stability and core stability with a simple inchworm. If you want to bring some mobility into the exercise, 
alternate the foot outside of the hand just for some variety. And then finally, if you want to make it very hard, there you go, there's your push up. Last one. Include that push up for that extra challenge. 12 reps there. Take about 30 to 45 seconds rest period here. And here we go with our next exercise. A drop step lunge with a hop as we come forward. Drop step, hop, drop step, hop. 12 each side. Big breath out as you go up. Good. And that's 12. Nice job. Our next exercise is a push-up with additional range of motion. It's called push-up plus. So I'll show you from the side and I'll show you from the front. So our goal is to do a push-up with extra range of motion at the top. Hands are shoulder width apart. All the way down all the way up and pull the chest up and through. <sighs> Getting those shoulder blades to come apart. That's from the side, push up and extend the chest up towards the ceiling. So we're essentially pushing away from the floor so that our shoulder blades come fully apart. I want you to do 12 reps of the push up plus. You can perform that from your knees or you can perform that at an incline on your couch or against the wall. Just make sure that the shoulder blades come all the way apart. All right, we're gonna hit what's called butterfly sit-ups next. I'll show you from the side. We're gonna place the feet together Knees open and apart, and we're gonna go from overhead, touch the toes. Overhead, touch the toes. Hi, Luger. If you wanna add some weight, put something in your hands, like a small dog. Or some groceries. Or some groceries. Good. Butterfly sit-ups. Again, perform 12 reps of that exercise there. And finally, guys, our last exercise is a single arm, single leg uh, reach from the high plank position. These are really challenging, especially on the balance. So high plank first, single arm, single leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. The wider the feet, the more balance you have. I'll show you that from the front. You have 12 each side and our goal is to get as little side to side rocking motion as possible. Again, thank you so very much for joining us. Head on back and repeat this workout three more times at your pace, giving yourself some rest in between each exercise.